This guy truly needs no introduction. He is the newest winner of America's Got Talent from Indiana's own. He's Richard Goodall, the scene janitor. Thank you so much for chatting with me and congratulations. Good morning, Trevor. How are you in that town? It's just amazing here. The energy is off the charts when I walked into work this morning because we are all such huge fans of you and everything that you stand for. What was that moment like last night when you're standing on the stage and Terry Crews announced you as the winner? Uh, I just amazing in awe. Uh, the the one word that I continue to use in all the interviews is surreal, uh, and, and it encompasses everything that's been going on. It's just been absolutely amazing. We love that for you. You're not just famous here in Indiana. You're now famous worldwide, getting everyone's support for just being so kind hearted and so real and humble. Where does that come from? Have you? What, does that come from family? Have you always learned to just been like that? Uh, I mean, uh, me being who I am, I, I, I'm just, uh, I'm just like anybody else, and um, I probably do one of the most humblest jobs there is. Um, and uh, I, you know, a lot of people, uh, when when you're a, a janitor, you know, a lot of people just, you know not necessarily take you for granted, but you know, you just, you know, you're just the person that's there that's behind the scenes that makes sure that everything gets done that needs to be done behind the scenes. And then, you know, all of a sudden, you know, you realize that you have this talent that you could, you could bless people in a different way. You're the janitor, you're a janitor for a middle school in Terre Haute, not far from Indianapolis. Have you talked to your school administrators yet? Uh, they have reached out, yeah, um, and uh, we're going to have a little uh, get-together probably Friday and, and do, do some school touring and, and uh, excite some kids. So exciting. So surely Terre Haute is going to have a big celebration for you. Obviously, besides that school tour, what's the plan once you get back to Terre Haute? Uh, I mean... The, the plan, I mean, other than and, uh, doing stuff with the school, um, we're, we're really just, you know, waiting to see what, what happens after the show. Any offers that come our way, we're just willing to just, you know, see what happens. And Angie and I, my new bride, are going to sit down and figure out what all that means for us and uh, what's the best option for us. Congratulations. You get to share that with her. That was such exciting news that we found out before the finale. And what is that? You're obviously now a married man with her. So great that you guys get to share that together. What's that moment like? Uh, she's the love of my life. I so appreciate her coming out and uh, supporting me through this whole uh, journey that 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 we've uh, went through on the show. And um, just looking forward to life afterwards, too. We're so happy for that. And it's been a long journey because obviously we met you on stage this summer when you got Heidi Plume's Golden Buzzer, but that happened a while ago for you. So now then we got the live shows. What's this whole last year been like for you? Uh, uh, the month of September has just been absolutely uh, crazy. Um, my first audition was March 28th. It aired on May 28th. And then I came back for the quarters. Uh, in August, and then at the end of August, I flew back out for the semifinals, uh, August 31st, and I've been out here ever since. I've been out here almost a whole month, and so Angie and I are kind of looking forward to getting back to Terre Haute, maybe having a little bit of normalcy, hopefully, <laughs> and then, you know, figure out what life uh, is going to look like after after the show. We were biased here in Indianapolis, always rooting for you, but it really seemed like you had all of the support from all four judges. They really seemed like they wanted you to win, and you're going up against some of these amazing acts as well. What's it like to get that reception from these incredible judges? Uh, the whole experience has been amazing. Uh, yeah, the judges have always been supportive. Uh, Simon just may have had a minor criticism about the second song, but I knew going from, you know, don't stop believing in my audition into another song that it was going to be tough. I mean, there's no way I could have topped my initial audition. Uh, I mean, it was just so well, I mean, it's like at 25 million views now. And in the UK, I was being uh, compared to, Susan Boyle, uh, the, uh, the people in the UK were, were saying that I was America's Susan Boyle, 
And so, uh, but yeah, the judges have been absolutely amazing, but not just the judges, uh, the people behind the scenes have been just so amazing to me also. And they have so much wisdom and so much information to give. And I've just tried to be like a sponge and soak it all in because the people behind the scenes, uh, just like me at the school, uh, me being behind the scenes, uh, they're, you know, they're the ones that make you know, the magic happen. So, you know, I connected with them just as much as I did the judges, if not more. Great to hear that. And almost as exciting as winning the million dollars is who you got to perform with. Obviously, it started for you with Journey, and then you get to sing with them, Don't Stop Believing. What was that moment like? Uh, absolutely surreal. I hate to use that word again, but I mean, it's the only word that I can think of. They flew in, they, they sent a message and said they, they were flying in from Chile, uh, their last concert. And I mean, it looked, it just, I knew that they had just a very minimal sleep and they just come out there and, uh, Dean Castronova, the, uh, the, uh, drummer, he had uh, the rest of the band sign his drumsticks and he handed the drumsticks over to me and just the pictures and the drumsticks. Uh, yeah. I mean, this whole, yeah, that was just, uh, that was just the, the cherry on top of the AGT cake for me. It was just absolutely wild. Never. I mean, you could probably only count on one hand how many people have gotten to sing with the band journey. So wild. So well-deserved and now newly million dollar winner. Do you have plans for the money? Do you have plans to go take Angie on a trip? What's next for that? Uh, we've, we've got, we've spotted our idle house in Terre Haute and uh, we're planning on looking at that. And then um, uh, the sky's the limit after the show, you know, um, uh, we're going to see what comes our way and sit down and figure out what, what's best for us and, and go from there. Great to hear that. What piece of advice do you have for people? Obviously, you were reached out by the show to come audition after they saw your performances. What piece of advice do you have people that have these same dreams as you and want to chase them? And now you're sitting here, the winner of America's Got Talent. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, look at me. I'm just a regular guy. And um, it's it's possible now. I mean, AGT doesn't just take, you know, the people that have been you know, professionally standing on stages, they're, they're all encompassing. They, they take those people that, you know, do the regular jobs, the, the regular nine to fives, the Monday through Fridays. Um, so I, I, I this, the song don't stop believing kind of encompasses what, where i came from. Uh, if you don't stop believing, if you put yourself out there, um, you know, uh, possibilities are endless. Uh, you have to just take a chance, take that risk and, and go for it. Uh, it may, it, the thing is, is if, if you put yourself out of your comfort zone for just a minute, you'll see that, you know, the risk is worth the reward and look at me. Wow. So great to see. And I want to give you the chance to give a shout out because this is Indianapolis. It's your home state. I want to give you a chance to thank your friends, your family, coworkers, people who helped you get here. I want to give you this chance to thank those people. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Tara Hope, uh, Vaga County School Corporation, um, Angie's sister, uh, um, and her family have been so supportive. Um, uh, my grandson came out for the show, my friend Dickie James uh, back in Terre Haute, and uh, of course, my beautiful bride. I, I, don't, I couldn't have done any of this without her by my side. Um, it has just been an absolute amazing roller coaster in a whirlwind ride with these wonderful AGT people, the people in front of the camera, and the, especially the people behind the scenes. I've just made everything so amazing for me. And I've learned so much and willing to take it out on the road, maybe, and see what happens. Would love to see you in Indian Bliss. The whole world loves loves Richard Goodall. We love you so much. Congratulations from all of us in Indianapolis. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I'll see you guys soon. That's awesome. Thank you.